Hey all, so I wanted to make a video on how to install Odoo on your system. Uh, so there are a few ways to actually do this. Um, you'll see if you uh, just go to the download page on Odoo, uh, you'll find a few different ways to do it. Um, you can download, you can click these download buttons and it'll give you an EXE. Of course, after you fill all this other information out, um, you can use this try without install button here, which I think just gives you the demo of Odoo, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But um, the way that I like to install it personally is um, just by using the source. So what I mean by that is going straight to the GitHub repository and just downloading it here. So um, to show you guys how to do that, the first thing that we'll need to do is uh, you'll want to install Git on your system. Um, so the way to do that is you can just type in, type in uh, download Git into Google and you'll come up with a list of instructions like this. I'm using Linux so this is why it's uh, giving me this. Um, I am using a uh, uh, Debian, Debian, I always forget which way it's pronounced but um, so uh, you just have to copy this command and We'll use the integrated terminal and just paste it here. Um, now the one thing with these commands is you might need to just do a sudo first. Um, you'll see that it's already up, it's already installed for me, so it doesn't actually uh, detect anything. Um, so after that. Um, you'll want to, in order to be able to clone the repository, you can clone it with just using git. I prefer to use the github cli, so I'll just show you how to do that. You can just go to uh, cli.github.com. Um, and again, I'm on Linux, so that's why it's auto-detecting that. So once you click the install for Linux, um, you'll just get this. Um, you may need to uh, get the PGP keys and everything first using this curl command. I don't remember if you actually still need to do that because obviously I already have this on my system. So um, just to show you that, um, just grab... <sighs> There we go. Just grab the command, uh, pop it into the terminal again. And it's already installed, so it's not actually installing anything. Um, so the third thing that you'll need is you'll need Python. So uh, especially on Linux and Mac, um, Python should come uh, and sold by default so you can just do python dash dash version from the CLI and it'll output something there um, if it's not installed you should be able to just do uh, uh, let's see sudo apt-get install python and then the version number just goes after it so I'm using uh, 3.7 I think up to like 3.9 or something is out right now. But uh, that'll take care of that. Um, now what else we'll need is, just looking at my notes, you'll need to install uh, Postgres at all, which also, which I should have up here. Yep, so again, you may need to install the PGP keys. Um, 
uh, using uh, these commands up here. I should already have them on my system. Um, so once those keys are in, you would just do sudo apt-get install. And actually, it's this one's a longer command, so I'm just going to copy it here for my notes. Bam, copy. And I know I should probably be using a better terminal than this, but um, it's on the list. This is uh, what I have for right now. Um, yep, so Postgres is already installed. Um, so Postgres is the back end for Odoo. And in order to, we want to create a user on Postgres right now. Um, so do sudo su to switch user and then just do a dash and just do uh, Postgres. And that'll instantly pop you over to Postgres. And then you can um, create a new user. Now I have, I'll copy and paste this for my notes as well. Um, you'll want this database user in order to uh, give proper authentication to create new databases. So I'll paste this command. Again, all these, uh, all these commands will just, um, um, I'll copy and paste them into the description as well. Um, yeah, so this is pretty much it. Um, I already have one for BGES, one for BGES 2, so I'll just use BGES 3 right now. And the password doesn't really matter all that much. All right, cool. And then there are a list of dependencies that you're also going to want to install. Um, I'll put these in the description as well. Um, oh, first we're going to want to exit out of the Postgres prompt. And paste. And enter. And again, you'll see they're already all installed for me. All right, so now uh, what we want to do is we want to actually get, let's see, where am I here? Um, all right, so now we're actually on the community repository. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to copy this command. This GH is the GitHub uh, CLI. And we'll um, make sure that you're already seeded into a folder that you want to install Odoo into. Um, and just paste the command. And it should start cloning. Oh, forgot that I have an SSH key on here. Just one second. Um, SSH keys, I think, are only an option for GitHub. I just automatically configured mine, but um, it doesn't come by default. All right. Now it's downloading everything. Uh, this might take a little while, so just pause the video here. All right, so Odoo is uh, it's done downloading now. Um, so what we'll do is we'll cd into our Odoo directory. Now, uh, this part's optional. Uh, what I personally like to do is to create a virtual environment. Um, now, if you don't know what that is, that's basically it keeps all of your uh, pit packages separate from your global install so um, that it doesn't like mess up your system or anything like that. I, I like to do it just as a practice. You probably don't really need to. Um, so 
to install that, that's just a normal pip package. So you can just do uh, 1L. You can just do pip install pip env. Um, you'll see I already have it created. And then in order to create the virtual environment, you'll just do pip env uh, install. That'll create the virtual environment. Um, this shouldn't uh, this shouldn't take too long just to just to install it. Oh, awesome. So it already uh, found that we have our requirements.txt file here. So it's automatically converting that into a pit file.lock. Um, so it's automatically just installing all of our files that we have. Um, yeah, you can see here, it's got, the pit file has all of the package listed already, which is great. So I'll pause this again. Oh, actually, it looks like it's done. Um, okay, a couple errors. Let me just go back and fix this. All right, so it turns out that there were actually a couple of different things that were causing the error. Um, the first one is this PyPy Win32 that gets taken into the pip file. You don't need that um, since that's more for Windows. And the second error is it's actually a GitHub issue I found that's going on right now where the version of PyOpenSSL is set to 19 and it needs to be 22. So once you do that, um, you'll want to just do a pip v install again in order to get the new packages that you have. Um, in my pip file.lock, I already have these packages updated since I was doing some testing. So I don't need to do that. Um, now, uh, from here, what we want to do is we actually want two more things before we uh, just get Odoo up and running here. Uh, we want to make a run.conf file. Now, this is going to have... Uh, these are just, for convenience sake, these are some command line switches that you can instead just like put into um, into a file so that you don't have to explicitly call them out every time. Uh, BGLs3 for the DB user, you can see this is the uh, database user that I made when we were setting up um, uh, Postgres. Um, I just use test as the password since it's kind of throwaway. Um, I put it on port 8070 since I just have some other stuff running on the default ports. Um, the admin password you can just set to anything. It doesn't matter since this is probably your first time running Odoo. If it's not, then you'll probably already have a um, admin password. Um, the add-ons path that will point to any directories that have add-ons in them. So once you start creating custom add-ons, those will likely go into another folder and you'll add them onto this add-ons path thing here. All right, so this file is created. Now the only other thing is we need to actually call it. So let me just pull up. The other screen here. Uh, so I'll just I'll just uh, copy this down here. Now this is another reason why I really like uh, pip env is you can um, you can specify scripts of common things so that instead you can just do pip env run and then whatever this command name is rather than having to memorize any kind of lengthy command or anything like that. You can see here, I actually have uh, two different commands being run. If there is a log file, it deletes it just so that we can um, create a new log file each time. Um, that's just convenient. 
And then how you actually start the server is you just do uh, Python um, and then Odo bin. And then you do the dash C uh, command line switch and you do the run.conf. And that should be everything that we need. Uh, I'm just double checking if we have anything else. Oh, we should be good. So with that done, you can just do uh, pip env run server. You'll see my log file is getting uh, recreated again. I'm just pulling it up in my other browser and then I'll pull it over. All right, and then we're all set. We can start uh, creating a new database and everything and um, really just uh, get Odo up and running. So thank you for, uh, thank you for watching and hopefully I'll uh, see you again.